Okay. Well, I took a nice walk in the park this morning. Really. Colors, I don't know about you guys, but we're usually about the same weather line. Beautiful, brilliant colors of some of the earlier maple trees, reds and oranges, yellows. And, you know, every year this time, I think about many years ago, <laughs> um, and I haven't sung this song in many years. Uh, one I wrote back in 1991, it says here. Um, one called One Fine Autumn Day, and I remember when I was six years ago that I was out in the country somewhere, and it was, you know, they were, everything was peaking, all the colors and the raining leaves, and I felt like a little kid and running and kicking up the leaves in the air. <laughs> It was one of those moments, one of those days, one of those times that has stayed in my memory, and there's never really been quite another day like that. Um, but this morning on my walk, uh, that song came back uh, to me, and I was just in amazement. And of course, you know, you go through this, um, you know, the need to let go, as the leaves do. And the trust, the easiness, and that that can happen when you allow it, allow, and the beauty that comes in right before letting go, in during the death of things. The death, there's death all around us, and especially right now in front of us, that's the believe. Dumb. The trees don't. They, they continue evolving, growing, just as we continue evolving and growing and all of these things that we call it death, we call it letting go, we call it preparing for a new beginning, mm -hmm. uh, we call it sacred, uh, you know, the sacred process of transition. Constant transition is something we, we are guaranteed. So, I'm going to sing this song because I haven't done it for so long, and I loved it when I wrote it back then. So, it's called One Fine Song, which today is. Thank <laughs> you. 
But no, don't let me just keep talking. Can't hear me. Is this better? Are you hearing me? You know, I think it's the room must be very large where you are because your voice is getting spread out. It's let me get the mic closer. Is this better? Is it better? Yeah. Let me unplug the mic. How does that sound? A little bit. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah, this mic this is not doing a trick. I don't know what it is, but it seems to be doing okay there for a long time. I'm not gonna do something about that. Is this better? You can hear me? Okay. Okay, so anyway, I was just saying that uh, the letting go process uh, and Brian's healing is what I was talking about. He had fallen out of a tree and they prayed over him. And the thing that came to him, the message was that he fell, but he fell in love. And that was what it was brought about the healing for him. Uh, next day, he pitched a uh, no hair clothing. <laughs> he, he was healed in that moment. Mm -hmm. So, it's all about um, knowing that whatever happens, we cannot in any way be separated from God's love. Yeah. It's all part of some beautiful perfect journey, no matter what things be going on in our life. So, anyway, this song, as I've said, I've done before, changing again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And the more you're willing to awaken, the faster some of these changes can occur. And it can seem like it's not a pleasant change, but it's all part of growing, it's like taking a college course that you might not especially like. And it's very challenging. Some of these courses we take in this life are very challenging, and they even feel like they're taking a step backwards. You know, um, what you may see as backwards may be a whole relief that's about to happen. When you take a leap, you sort of Get back so you can get some power and energy behind it. Get that. That's what happened. Are you hearing me okay? It's okay now. Mm -hmm. Did it change in again? Rolling round at the season's end. I lose my old friend. Feel it changing again. It scares me so. But my heart knows that everything will be okay. Only changing, you're changing again. Don't know why, and I don't know where. Going where I've never been. Feel it changing again. Yeah. 
can be hurt. You cannot do that. The body does. The truth does. No. I am spirit and a model. I am spirit. I am. I am. Let's allow ourselves to be all. Power of that thought. And let ourselves feel the power of the thought of fear. And how it manifests differently in our lives. It walks that power. If you believe the principles that religion teaches, then of course we have the principles that come in. Those spiritual leaders and products to be legitimate. Where, where do we think our kingdom lies? Our protection that we must form. Ultimately, there is no place to be here for the past. Where does my sense? Where does it lie? Where do I seek for comfort, for identity, for assurance? Where do I look for? Let me know. The only way I look for is the Let me come there often. Let me see all life in this transition. Everything here is in transition. Every moment I am in transition. Let me feel that. Let me accept that. Ending and beginning. Ending and beginning. Ending and beginning. Ending and it goes way now. The body comes in and goes out. I never die. I never die. The body dies. The body is not Can I accept that without any doubt or question? I never die. I never die. The body die. I All about transition. Transition is always in between the end and the beginning. Letting go and allowing the new for the new me. Trusting in God to make it easy. Transition. Part of the plan of evolution. My spirit is evolving, growing, stretching. No 
nine is worthy, nine is worthy. I can grow. I heard an amen somewhere that I heard. <laughs> so if you'd like to uh, comment on today's message, please unmute. And then we'll just do a short um, continuance of the video. So anyone like to say anything? Donna, thank you for that. That's a, a message that I needed to hear because I'm kind of a security conscious kind of guy. So uh, hearing that uh, change is not always to be feared, that it's kind of planned for, it, it's always present. Uh, <laughs> it leads me back to the principle that, uh, you know, our thoughts and our experiences shape um, shape our our eventual experiences so uh and if you look at change as a type of regeneration uh that does make it a little easier for for people like me that you know do resist change some so thank you very much bob did you want to say something yeah i i uh... I became very, very relaxed and mellow, and um, I slept. But I agree that change is crucial because until we can see the Christ heart in our brother, and I mean every brother who stands before us, we are we're hanging on to grievances and judgments in our ability to think we're right. And I remember one Christmas party at uh, Roy Brooks and uh, uh, what was Carol. Carol Brooks' house. Uh, 
Joanne Chen was uh, jo Jolene. Joanne. Joanne was leading the meeting and she gave me a three by five card. Would you rather be happy or right? And I was insulted in that moment. I was thinking, huh. It's just, but it's the message is right on. If we aren't willing to change, we're going to continue to be frustrated and unhappy. And yeah, thank you very much, Donna. I heard it through my sleep. I was at peace. I heard you snoring. No, <laughs> <laughs> Lin Chang. Yeah. Yeah. My memory is coming back. Yeah. I think when you think about change, you have to be careful that you still stay in the present moment because if you're thinking about the future or the past you have to be present present to the change and speaking of change i've got a huge pile of change out at the street ready to be sucked up <laughs> my leaves <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the Holy Spirit that sucks up those leaves. <laughs> it's nice to see one taxpayer who believes she's getting something for her money. <laughs> I am. I am. Uh, yeah. 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 We, I just spread my leaves out. You know, hopefully they'll, <laughs> they'll go down. Sometimes they get deep. But <laughs> the, the Holy Spirit is not in every leaf flower. Oh, I had to get up and I had to get up and shut my windows when you started. I wanted to apologize, Donna, because leaf blowers were suddenly all around coming. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, it was perfect. It was a perfect. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Gloria, were you? No, I just said they were blowing change. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. <laughs> um, there was, I wrote down several images or things that struck me. If if you allow me to share. Um, a first thing that struck me is how you talked about death and then gave a whole lot of other um, words to use instead of death and made me think so much about um, how important words are. Death sounds like a final thing when we use it in other contexts, you know, you know, the, the, you know, the death of the candle industry because of <laughs> electricity or something. It's the end of something, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, that just struck me thinking about how important for, for us and, and as we're communicating, the words are um, uh, to express ourselves. Um, the, uh, another thing you talked about that was an image for me was looking closely at all the individual leaves and then looking at the- That's something the, I always used to do. Yeah, with. right, you used to get them and- and press them and look at them and then looking at the big tree and that you know like kind of metaphorically about the individuals and the tree and I thought about how it's also if I'm the big tree then these little parts you know that can be changing or that can be beautiful or that can be examined are little parts of me so you know uh, that was something an image that just struck me um, and the other thing is, and I won't, I try not to talk too long, but um, for about 25 years ago, for, I guess about for a 10 year period, I used to do workshops on transition, not from a spiritual nature, but for, from a, uh, um, a, a life, a skill kind of um, uh, direction. And one of our, the things that we, and I hadn't thought of it in ages. And one of the things we, we used to always say, you know, um, when people went out to, to do this program, you know, people think of change, they think of loss and they need to change um, the way they think from, from loss to opportunity. And um, once you see change as an opportunity, um, then you see how there's transitions going on all the time. And the healthier person is the one that deals with little mini transitions throughout their life and deals with, you know, changes that come up 
and deals with the opportunity that a transition, rather than waiting for a giant transition, you're kind of taking care of it along the way. And, um, and that uh, we talked about, yes, you know, if there's something that's causing it, it's a big move or something like that, you know, it's really easy to set down and do the work on that transition. Um, and, but the little ones are harder, but they're just as, in, just as important. Um, and that the, uh, you just maybe all this just started pouring back to me, but the idea of um, the opportunity is to leave things behind that you don't want to carry with you into the future. You look at yourself today and this transition offers you that chance to not take these things with you another day, but, and to look for what you'd like, you know, to imagine what you'd like tomorrow to be and to how you add those things back in. And it takes the fear out of transition. That's a very short thing for like a, a three-day workshop. But <laughs> um, but I hadn't thought about those things in such a long time. And and now I feel like I want to go back and look at all, you know, our manuals and stuff that we created and see if I can like see it from a spiritual, you know, like take those words and see if there's, you know, uh, uh, those things can be metaphorically like for a spiritual um, journey as well. Anyway, I, I, I'm sorry I take so much time, but I, I, those things did come up to me while you were talking, and I thank you very much. Jody, thank don't so ever much. be sorry to talk because <laughs> no. you always have such good insights after a lesson has been said. Uh, I enjoy what you say just as much. Um, oh, thank you, Gloria. Really? <laughs> yeah, and we have this. We have that recorded too. Uh, if you need well, to hear it again, oh, no. well, Jody. It, 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 people, it, people have never been over here. It's going to seem like uh, we're keeping you down. We're not keeping you down. No, but you, you, you need to respect yourself. And... No, I just I'm retired now. That's why. <laughs> I used to do a lot of stuff in the old days. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the way you always take notes. Uh, yes. Um, and, you know, you probably did a wonderful talk on transition. Oh, thank you. If you, you know, had that experience. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks. 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 Yeah, whatever you change comes challenge. And inside the challenge comes opportunities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, even if you have a cold, you know, or whatever you want to call it, call it the flu, COVID, whatever, it's, it's pretty similar. <laughs> um, there are th things to learn and opportunities it's kind of like last week's message too from linda about saying thank you mm -hmm. so thank you for this lovely cold that i just got <laughs> you know um because it it led me to a lot of um common sense cures literally or mm -hmm. things that were less less than the duration of it you know the, i've had the atomizer for two years we never opened it up. Mm -hmm. now we, we, we had to learn real quick how to do the formula, you know, the, the different um, degrees of uh, saline to, you know, wow. hydrogen peroxide, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And it, it's just, um, it's kind of like, mm -hmm. all right, like Job, I said last week, well, I got close to Job this week. <laughs> 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 um, and it was, uh, how he kept thanking God for the opportunity. I mean, mm -hmm. that was like mm -hmm. one of the unity things that was the toughest thing to learn. It's not just a unity thing. Some of the evangelists say the first thing you do is say thank you for mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. And then pray to be shown, you know, how to get safely through it. But you can't get to part two until you say part one, thank you. And understand that, you know, these are lessons that God would have us learn. And they're not to tear us apart, but to make us stronger, to make us better, and to be able to help other people through our process of suffer, suffering, if, if you want to call it that. That's how people can serve, because they've been through it. 
You know, that's how I can help other veterans with post-traumatic stress because I'm not just finished with it, through it. I'm, you know, experiencing it. So um, it, it makes us useful to share our skills and abilities with people that really need them now. So I'm going to stop the recording. And thank you, Reverend Donna, for a wonderful message. Um, I appreciate uh, everything that we learn in these meetings. So let's let's go to the buttons. Stop recording.